welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I go by V-Man. And today we're starting our journey with Made in the Abyss. Uh, this show was actually a recommendation from the Eminence in Shadow season two finale video. Uh, Eclipse Total actually recommended this to me. He also recommended Overlord, but I think I'm gonna go with this just because <laughs> after watching Eminence in Shadow and then Typical Nobody, like I think I, think I didn't like a uh, typical nobody as much just because I came off of two seasons of the Eminence and Shadow. So I'm gonna give myself a minute with like the isekais and like the overpowered people <laughs> and then I'll go back into it, you know, with kind of like a fresh, fresh palette of animes that I've just watched. But yeah, like I said, don't really know anything about it. Um, I, he said that it was a bit of a darker toned anime. So I'm interested to see how that goes. But yeah, other than that, I just know that there's like I don't, I don't really know. There's like a girl and a guy with like a robot arm. So I guess we'll go from there. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into episode one. So Nat, Nat and Rico. Yeah. Yeah, we're just jumping straight into this. Red whistles? Red whistles? Silence said. Is this the same voice actor that's playing Thor uh Thorfinn? The Star Compass? <laughs> Talk about traumatizing a little girl. Oh, those are elevators are cool. Oh, gondola. <laughs> 600 meter. So is it like a mining? Is this like a mining, like, uh, I don't know, village or something? Or a civilization? Well, you were just standing there, Nat. If you're gonna take the lead, take the lead. Hmm. That's a cool flashlight sound effect. Oh no. That was very easy. Or it felt, felt very easy. I feel like you'd find dead bodies all the time. Mm. So she has. It's just been a while. They got a nice haul today. Oh, so the more stuff, more relics and stuff you find. You like get promotions and everything. Oh, you're not. Wait, did we just switch characters? Oh no no no. Okay, this is this is the boy. Oh wow. The crimson what? I wasn't even sure how to pronounce. Oh no. Oh. Oh okay. So Nat, Nat is the boy. That was very brave of you. Now run away. Oh. I'm tuck and roll. Oh no! Where does that go? Okay. This whole thing is like floating rocks and mountains and stuff like Pandora. I was like, no, don't die. Oh, that's good, it's not broken. But all the stuff you found today. Oh, don't. Oh, this is like a parkour in a video game level. Can that thing fly? Or is it like gliding on the grass? Well, that's like, if you can time your dodge right, you might be okay. What is that? What was that? Is that like a gun? Somebody shot it? So it can't fly, okay. 
Because when it was about to eat Nat, it looked like it could fly, but I wasn't really sure. Oh, wow. What kind of gun is that? Probably by accident. How far away were they? Where's all your stuff and where's Nat? Astro Boy. Oh, that was you. Okay. Yeah. I'm really liking this music so far. What is that? Oh no, it's Baby Luffy. <laughs> He's rubber skin also. Half Luffy, half Astro Boy. Mm. But I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, you, you shot from up there. Yeah, you were definitely saved by accident. <laughs> okay, this it kept going. I thought this was like an intro. Well, I mean, it is an intro. But... Okay, Nat's okay. Cool. But all the stuff you guys mined today, it's all gone. Mm. Okay. I'll say now she's the only reason you're alive right now. It's a good little pool you set up. <laughs> I'm sure they do stuff like this all the time though. They're like artifacts and stuff that they find. This town that they live in is really cool. It's very congested, very crowded. But it looks cool. And it's on it's on the edge of a pool. That's cool. The city of the great pit. Yoshi. なと、もう少しだよ。バカ野郎、ここから。どうしたの? they live in like a foster house? She definitely sees you. There is no way. <laughs> He's got a little Superman swoosh going on with his hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I thought they were gonna like try and pull a uh, robot boy up through the window. For a second, when he started crying and whining, I thought he was gonna be like dangling from the ledge. <laughs> This is a terrible plan. Oh, this classroom is cool. They're like sitting on the wall. Hmm. Oh, they treat these kids like adult. Gotta fill out paperwork to get your stuff back. Hmm. Yeah, so all their parents died. <laughs> Are you looking at me? So, you're definitely the problem child. Was it Rika? Rico? What was your name? What? So like, that means you strung someone up like that before. <laughs> That's terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, that thing was a snake. Now he's gonna ask how you got away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he said that. So besides the robot boy, you didn't find any of your stuff, of your relics or anything? Because you had your backpack with you. <laughs> so what do the adults do if they send the kids out to cave raid? Mm. So are they like classified by their whistles? Cause she is a red one right now, and she said her mom was a white one. And then I think that guy's wearing like a purple one. I think I can really see 
よ立ち聞きなんて趣味悪いよ<笑>誰かいるのか<笑>子供の声Oh, now they're messing with dials on him? <laughs> oh, they charged him. Okay. Is that an electric chair? Is that. Did they put him in an electric chair? <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna rest my ass for a little bit longer. <laughs> Electrocuted. They fed him coals? おい、ガッツキすぎだって。弾いてるぞ。私の部屋、ベルチェロ個人の。君たちは拷問が仕事なの。トーチャーズ。え?リコの部屋は元お仕置き部屋なんだ。オッケー。I like how they left the stuff up. キミを作ったのは誰？おお。あ、ユニーヴァノーユーカムフロム。ロボットだよ。電気で動いたし、火にも強かったし、肌に傷一つつかなかったし。あ、ロボットで止まで覚えてないの？さっきの電気で記憶
Like if the abyss is in the middle, what's on the outside? Or is it just nothing? Oh, the ocean. Okay. They answered my question. Oh. Isn't that what she had earlier? That one thing? I'm sure it has. Dude. Oh, wow. All right, so that is it for this episode of Made in Abyss. Um, yeah, so I think Rico, Rico, right? Rico, hold on. Okay, yeah, so Rico was right. Uh, just based on the title of the show, I'm sure that Reg uh, was created in the Abyss, or at least made in the Abyss somewhere by someone, some mad scientist down there. And uh, yeah, so who the hell did we meet? We met Rico. We met Reg and we met Nat and then the other the other really small one. I forgot. I forgot their name. I think they only said it once. But um Yeah, I like the uh the world building so far. It's like they found a pit and it's just like imagine like there was an actual pit like on the earth. Like just imagine how many like people like with the uh I don't know, with the desire to explore. Like I can, I can a hundred percent imagine like there being like a civilization of people around a pit that goes unknowingly deep into the earth, and everyone just like trying to you know explore it. I can a hundred percent see that seeing this happen like in the real world, like that that'd be really interesting to see. But I like the premise and like I said, the world building of it. Um, clearly a lot of people die. Clearly a lot of people go down there and die. They have a whole orphanage, which that's actually really messed up. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, they have an orphanage of kids, which I'm sure all their parents died exploring the abyss. And now they're growing up in an orphanage being made to go into the abyss <laughs> to keep mining going down. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually really messed up. Uh, so, yeah, so it looks like uh, right now the world is um, there's some kind of like tier list or tier system or class setup where... I guess red would be like beginner or novice or whatever. And does it, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it would go by every hundred meters. Just that's what would make sense in my head. So red was, they're only allowed to go like a hundred meters down. But uh, Rico said her mom was exploring at 400 meters down and her whistle was white. And then the leader, uh, whatever the guy's name was, of the orphanage he had a he had a purple and gold whistle and then um the lady that was in all black i didn't see a whistle on her so as of right now we have like three different whistles um that you know i get like i said i'm assuming has something to do with their class or their status in this world that they're in and yeah so i'm not really sure it was really funny like whenever they did find reg uh reg and uh like his arm was powering off. I don't know. I just went straight to Astro Boy. I'm not sure why, but I did. Uh, so that was really funny. But yeah, so they said that his skin was stretchy or rubbery. So I'm not really sure. I mean, he had the parts of a human, I'm assuming. He said, what do I need this for? So I'm assuming it was a human that's been turned into an android or something like that. I'm not really sure. So we're going to need more backstory on that. But yeah, I really do like like the premise of this show. Um, I was told that it's a bit dark, so I'm waiting to see how dark it actually is. And I know that there are a couple of movies out. I'm pretty sure when I was looking this up that there are a few movies out. So I'm a, like, I'm a, I need, I should have done it before I recorded this, but I'm going to look at like the watch order and see what order I'm supposed to be watching all this stuff in. And then I'll go from there. But uh, once again, shout out to uh, Eclipse Total for the recommendation. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.